Antarctica. Um, the university authorities, um, the executive secretary, coordinator, and our friend. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm not going to give any wise words. Too many of them. We've had quite an uh, adequate amount of wisdom and uh, a rich experience from the ambassador, from the executive secretary. And uh, we are gathered here to launch a toolkit for professionals. And I believe everybody here is either directly a professional or quite closely connected to the profession. And uh, it's all about uh, celebrating uh, the importance and uses of journalism uh, for the development of our continent. Um, I was invited by IDEA, IDEA, that's the Association for the Development of Education uh, in Africa and Highway Africa together. They invited me. And, uh, for the past two, three days, I believe I've received some education. Even in my retirement, in fact, I believe uh, the education is very instructive and is going to be useful for me uh, through the retirement period. But uh, the, the launch, uh, I've been given a copy, a volume of the toolkits, which I find to be a tool, and I wouldn't pretend I've read it. I haven't. But anything to empower a teacher do a more effective and positive teaching to me is very, very critical. Because education is the pivot around which all development uh, tends. And uh, we, we need education for everything. If it's singing, you want to sing as beautifully as our sister sang, uh, you must be trained, you must be educated. If you want to talk um, education, philosophy, like the executive secretary has shown us this afternoon, citing very uh, rich traditional proverbs, you need education. Uh, you want to be a good mechanic, education. You want to be an academic, education and more of it. You want to be a teacher, and especially in our times, science and technology epoch, <laughs> education is critical. In earlier times, you could do self-teaching, self-tuition. These days, I doubt if anybody can, uh, without the support of a teacher uh, who has mastered uh, the ICT uh, means of teaching and uh, uh, imparting knowledge. So education to me is central to all advancement. And uh, so a toolkit that would enhance the skills of the teacher is perhaps uh, the, the most basic book that uh, any educational system must have. And so when I was invited to come and help launch it, I felt flattered because one, I'm not a teacher, two, I'm not a journalist. Uh, when I, I believe the, the coordinator was talking about uh, all of us here gathered, he mentioned the, the various groups, journalists, uh, social, uh, uh, organizations and so forth. He, he left out the politician. <laughs> so <laughs> it occurred to me that perhaps our uh, communities are so much appreciating the very crucial role of politics. Uh, if it's policy formulation, uh, if it's uh, implementation, the one who will give the go ahead for civil servants to implement the education professionals is still the politician. And yet, politician tends to be sidelined, just like this. I sat here and I wasn't counted. Uh, and also, the politician, I will tell you, needs a lot of education, especially in Africa. Because uh, for us to become good politicians, we must know our continent. 
we must know the problems confronting us. We are all expressing desires to mainstream the continent in globalization. How do we do this if we don't begin to understand the basic challenges uh, of uh, economics, uh, of social welfare, of education, of the world around us? Uh, we are complaining uh, we are on the attack from all angles, whether from uh, America, from Europe, from China, and so forth and so on. Everybody is coming here, we are all nervous, they are coming to exploit us, to cheat us. If we do not learn about them, and learn how we can meet them, uh, where would we be? And invariably, the politician that must lead the defense. So, uh, the toolkit that obviously is comprehensive, it talks about not just journalism and how uh, we be about journalism must be infused with uh, ethics, and it's very important for us because uh, a wrong word in a newspaper may spark a conflict that might lead to hundreds, if not thousands of people losing their lives instantly within a day or two. Uh, so we, 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 we need a toolkit to prepare our journalists, uh, not just to write uh, what they think they've seen. Sometimes they must delve, go behind what they think they've seen to ascertain the, the truth about it so the report will be accurate. So they don't go making statements that will bring uh, reputations that perhaps have been built over decades. Uh, that is important. They must report things, not just for sensationalism, not just to help their uh, owners uh, raking in more and more profits, but things that will help with the development, real positive development of the community. Uh, they must report things that would help our various tribes and religious groups and sects to the dignities of man. And journalism has a role to help educate our communities, appreciate this basic thing. Uh, gender, our sister was talking about gender. I would say the men too need help in Africa because a truly well-educated man will not go 